This is actually kind of cool. That's the gun I got now. This doesn't seem to be what they're looking for. There appears to be another intact memory close to you in temporal sequence. There. Try that one. Hmm. Sarah. The thing about happiness is. You only know you had it, and it's gone. I mean, you, you may think to yourself that you're happy, but you don't really believe it. Focus on that petty bullshit or next job or whatever. It's only looking back, by comparison with what comes after, that you really understand that's what happiness felt like. You'll see. But we don't know anybody here. And now, with the baby? Come on, Sarah. You've got to give it a chance. I finally got steady work with a good outfit. Nothing like that in the NCR these days. No, I'm not saying this was a mistake. I, I'm just... Are you sure these guys know what they're doing? They seem kind of green. I know. But that's where I come in. Just like Years, I'll be running my own crew. As soon as I make the connections I need. Then I can give you anything you want. And little Mary too. I never worried about you before. Must be my mama instincts kicking in. <laughs> I knew I had those, huh? Come on, you're great with her. But you don't need to worry about me. Most of it's just running security for the shield. But standing around and looking down. The she. You sure pick the right person for that job. Listen, it's gonna be great here. See this? This is what's gonna keep you and Mary safe. I promise. I know. I'm sure we're gonna be really happy here. We are. You'll see. That's okay. I got it. Let's keep looking. 
I'll connect you to the next intact memory. Why was his name Connie? I thought his name was Kellogg. How did you think this was going to end, Kellogg? There it is. <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us, and we wouldn't fuck with you? <laughs> just so you know, they died like dogs. And you weren't there to help them. I found another memory to try. I'll connect it. Hmm. Who were the she? That's horrifyingly creepy. It's come to my attention that you've been rather disruptive of our operations. This must stop. I do what people pay me to do. That's a problem for you. I can see only one way out. And what's that, Mr. Kellogg? I'm working for you. There's no more problem. From what I hear, you can afford me. I don't think you fully understand the situation you're in. I think I do. Very well. B-748, initiate. Holy shit! Hmm. Impressive. We may have something to talk about after all. Getting warmer. One of these has got to tell us something. Kellogg was good. Ah, there's one that looks mostly intact. Connecting now. Manual override. Oh no. Cryogenic stasis. Suspended. All computers are still working. That's good. Checking through the logs. Hopefully it's all just find it. Pod C6. Down the hall near the end. Me. Big heads never like taking orders from a dirty, contaminated degenerate like me. But they needed me. I made sure they knew it. This is the one. Here. Open it. Cryogenic sequence 
What's the hold up? I'm almost finished, Kellogg. I just need to confirm. All right, we're good. I'm, uh, I'm sorry you had to go through that again. I found another intact memory. Whenever you're ready. That was traumatizing for a second time. Is that your son? This appears to be a very recent memory. So, good news, I think. Sean. It wasn't my idea to settle down with the kid in the middle of Diamond City. <laughs> I thought it was a terrible idea, actually. But was one of the old man's pet projects, so here we were. Me and the kid. Like a happy little family. I ended up kind of liking it. A reminder of what my life might have been if things had turned out differently. But there's no going back. I knew it was just temporary. It would be back to normal business before too long. Classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. So, I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. You're taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. What the hell? to relay with Sean. Hi, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. What the hell? Teleportation. Now it all makes sense. Nobody found the entrance to the Institute because there is no entrance. I need to be out of there as soon as you're ready. Holy shit! Slow movements, okay? I don't know what kind of side effects the procedure might have had. No one's ever done this before. How do you feel? Ah. <sighs> I have to watch someone's life story. I want popcorn. Well, if you're cognizant enough to joke, I think you can safely say that you're out of critical condition. Are you ready to talk about what happened in there? There's more than one person who knows about the Institute. Virgil, that scientist who escaped. I didn't know Institute scientists could defect. This changes everything. He could answer all sorts of questions. Where did yeah. the memory say he was? The glowing sea? That can't be right. No one would risk going there. Not even to hide. Why? Why? What makes the glowing sea so dangerous? The name says it all. Radiation. So much that nothing there could possibly live. 
nothing pleasant. Navigating radioactive hazards is nothing new. But the glowing sea can kill a man in seconds. That's why it doesn't make sense. Virgil fleeing into that hell. The exposure alone. That's why he's there. To make the Institute think twice about following him. That must be it. He's using the radiation in the glowing sea like a shield. Or a cloak. A way to throw them off and be at an advantage. If Virgil found a way to survive there, you'll have to do the same. If you're going to follow him. Hmm. How do I fight that much radiation? Doctor? There are chemical compounds. Radex, Radaway. You'd need as much as you could carry. Maybe more. A sealed environment suit would be great if you could find one. Or maybe one of those suits of power armor. That would be perfect. Ah, look what I got. I'll find a way to get through the rats. Don't worry. Good luck. And be safe. By the way, I unplugged Mr. Valentine first. Removed the implant while you were waking up. He's waiting for you upstairs. Okay. Hey, Valentine. Hope you got what you were looking for inside my head. <laughs> that was right. I should have killed you when you were on ice. Wait, what? What did you say? What? What are you talking about? Feeling okay? You feeling all right, Nick? Yeah, I'm fine. Why? You sounded like Kellogg just then. Did I? Bonnie said there might be some mnemonic impressions left over. Anyway, I feel fine, so let's get going. We have to head into the glowing sea. Any advice? Hmm. I'm a synth, so radiation isn't much of an issue for me, but an old suit of power armor might just be the guardian angel you're looking for. Either <laughs> you could buy up all the Radex and rat away you can find from any chem dealer who's got it in stock. Let's get going, Nick. It's been one heck of a ride so far. Let's see where it takes us next. Oh yeah, I'll get my suit of armor. <laughs> my armor. up there back when people were just as scared of the Institute as they are now maybe more the massacre of the CPG was still pretty fresh in people's minds at that point folks were still losing sleep over the broken mass plenty of people assumed I was just a saboteur moving in to melt down the reactor or poison the drinking water. whoa 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 time, they couldn't exactly turn me away massacre of the CPG what's that Commonwealth Provisional Government. 
Years back, a group of settlements tried to get together and form a coalition. Yeah. Every settlement with even a hint of clout sent representatives to try and hash out an agreement. Only the Institute sent a representative of their own. A synth. The man killed every rep at the talks. The Commonwealth Provisional Government was over before it even got off the ground. I took up in town not long after. I was damn lucky they didn't just tell me to scram right then and there. Broken mask. This was long before I'd moved to town, but apparently some gentleman type shows up in Diamond City, heads down to Power News. Guess he didn't like the food because he pulled his pistol and opened fire on the folks enjoying theirs. The security finally put enough holes in him to drop him. They say he was full of servos and sprockets. Just like yours truly. Seems he malfunctioned, went berserk. Holy it's shit. The first time people realized <coughs> like me looking like them. Considering what these folks went through, I felt real lucky they let me in the front gate at all. Why would you want to live among bigots like that? Now I couldn't really blame them, given the circumstances. But folks sure started turning the other cheek when I showed up with the mayor's daughter. Gal of about fifteen. Pride and joy of the mayor back then. And by the name of Henry Roberts. The young Miss Roberts decided she'd run off with some caravan hand she'd uh, <clears throat> known for an evening. I thought the guy was part of a gang of kidnappers. Oh shit. I didn't even know who I was rescuing. I stumbled on a crying girl in four tufts. I took her home and the mayor dubbed me a hero. Offered me a place in town. Lots of folks protested and said I was a spy, but he wouldn't have it. Taking up in the city was tricky at first, but I never tried to hide what I was, and people seemed to warm to that. Hmm. You took down four guys by yourself? I well, didn't have to. Back then, synths were even more of an unknown quantity than they are today. I told them I was rigged to explode and started going beep, beep, beep. Hardest part of that rescue was keeping from laughing as they climbed over each other to get away. Was it hard settling in? No, they sure didn't make it easy. I started off doing the jobs no one else wanted. I got more banged up being Diamond City's handyman than I ever did living out in the ruins. But I guess folks never forgot I rescued the mayor's daughter, so they started coming to me when people went missing. Wife runs off with a new paramour and takes the rent money with her, talk to the synth. An upset father decides moving him and the kids to a good neighbor in the dead of night's not the worst damn idea since the bomb. Go we'll get Nick. After a while, the jobs got so backed up, they didn't even ask me to do the handyman stuff anymore. Hell, I'm huh. so happy to do it, it was months before I started charging anyone. I never stopped being Nick the synth, but it was Nick the detective folks came to see about then that things uh, things finally started feeling normal it took me a long time to realize that home is where you make it and with some time and effort this place can be home for you too that's a long story but i hope it helps want to get moving the commonwealth can take a real toll on you if you let it you know, this place makes monsters out of men oh glad i got nick on my side <laughs> 